Okay, so today I have two pieces of mail that I'm super excited about. One of these, this is from my um, dear friend, well our dear friend Brooke. She used to work with Peter at the hotel in Chicago. And she's big into Disney as well. And she did this little like tutorial on her Instagram on how to make like a classic vintage Minnie Mouse hat um, out of the classic ears that they sell in the parks. And so I was like, I will buy those from you, like if you make more. And she was like, you know what, I actually did this. I was just crafting. And all you do is fold the existing bow around this little hat. And um, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna try it out. So cute, so nice for her. And she gave us this little card too. And so our bigger piece of mail is our big box of stack buttons for this month. Um, I'm not going to go too into it because there are some designs that haven't been released in here. I think that this is the biggest pack of buttons I've ever gotten. We have a lot more stock. These are our September packs. I um, kind of hinted at what the theme is going to be, but I don't want you to see the designs until the first. But I have those, so now I can go to the parks and take photos. This is the mystery button for this month. And then I ordered something new, which I've never done before, which is magnets. So we're kind of thinking that maybe these could be something cool that we'll put in our shop. They're an inch and a half by an inch and a half square. So comment down below if you would be interested in buying magnets of our designs. I mean, we, we could literally do any one. I just ordered the Haunted Mansion ones. Um, because they were, you know, the designs were fresh, so it's pretty cool. I'm excited about these. Where are we, Peter? At All Star Movies. And it's going to be funny because if you are at Avid Fan, you'll see us right now and on the other channel because today we're both doing both videos here. So if you want a more in depth, detailed video about about the secret menu at the world premiere food court at the all-star movies resort then go to the fan 5207 and see the video there um, we're back super cold <laughs> super good or super bad what? Super good or super bad? Super good. If you want to see, hear more comments and see it more in depth, check out the other channel. But now I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out here, right? Or are we gonna go somewhere else? I don't know. I want to check out their uh, their store. Yeah. So I think we'll hang out here. It's 7:30 already. It's rainy. So let's we'll we'll ponder around this this we're cool place. If we're gonna go anywhere else. Oh. Sarah, I forgot to tell you, I called Mickey and he got the red carpet out for you. This is just for you. Now tell them where we're going, now that you've won the Piston Cup. We're going to Disney World. We're going to Mansion. We're going to start a GoFundMe for our addiction. What? To get us passports so we can infinitely fly between all the parks around the world. We got our own tangled here. I for sure thought you'd fall over just now. <laughs> the name is Rapunzel, not Tangled. <gasps> Can we just talk about this guy for a second? It's beautiful. It's like I've never seen one like this before. We saw some good sky on Route 66, but this is like pink. I see clouds on the ground. Tell him about the person that came up with us or came up to us. This cute little British boy came up to us at All Star Movies while we were like filming the part of this vlog for the 5207. Excuse me. Are you YouTubers? Are you YouTubers? Do you have a YouTube? Because I'll subscribe. <laughs> and then we showed him our YouTube and then he's like, thanks. And like ran away. He was like, maybe 10. So if you're watching this, we really appreciate you being so kind. You're a super awesome dude. <laughs> Gateway to the 16 lines of the automatic door. I'm 
gonna be honest with everybody right now and say I honestly don't know the last time we walked into Magic Kingdom this late. I don't think we've had time to like enjoy Main Street at night. It's, I mean, obviously I didn't forget because how can you forget it, but it's so extra magical when it's at night and the lights are lit up. That's what Walt used to talk about. Walt used to talk about like Main Street USA. It was supposed to be the epitome and perfect image of small town USA lit up specifically with the with the white white bulbs to line it. Oh, and look how gorgeous that looks. But I'll wait for you by the tonight's not the night to fully enjoy Main Street. I think we're gonna go on some rides while everybody's enjoying the nighttime festivities. And I think because it was super hot during the day and then it rains for a good like hour here. I think the crowds are uh, crowds aren't too bad right now. So. Hopefully the few people that are here are watching uh, Happily Ever After and Once Upon a Time. I do think those should be reversed. I think Once Upon a Time should happen first. But hopefully they are enjoying those while we get to enjoy some rides. Maybe we'll go on like five in the next hour and a half that we have. like a girl and her castle. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's going to narrate and sing Happily Ever After for us tonight. Okay, side note, we're like Main Street enthusiast parents for the fireworks. When you work in Frontierland, and you have to watch Wishes Every Night from Frontierland, it's a pretty good spot. Also, is. why is um, Belle playing in Liberty Square? Because she's just... I if it's like the Happily Ever After song. It probably is the Happily Ever After song. Everyone's running out of here. We're running in. We're about to go on some nighttime rides. <laughs> I've never seen the fireworks from this angle ever in my life. What do you think? A nice magical spot over on this this waterway? Yeah. It's our favorite part. the castle. But yours continues on. Okay. It's possible. We're doing that right now, guys. I cannot stress enough how much this song means to us and what we're doing. And following our dream. By coming here and to work and live in Disney World. The stories, the lost season, all the glories.
consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. This hasn't been an adventurous night. I don't know what is. You got one more in you? Yes, Bill Hermanjic? Nope. Pirates of the Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean. I think the park's like empty. Then we can take a nice stroll through Main Street. How about it? Yes. <laughs> Sarah just had a realization of worry. She realized that she's gonna edit two videos tomorrow morning. I was thinking that on Saturday when we come, it might be all decorated for fall. Fingers crossed, I hope so. Oh, okay, this was so unexpected. This was not in the plan. It really was, and, and how the crowds were, and we got to go on like a bunch of rides, it was great. Yeah. But we thought we'd change pace and uh, give you a different, a different scenery for our, our sign off, so we're just gonna say good night now. So make sure you give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you enjoy seeing us enjoying the most magical place on earth. And our dog, Eve. And just wait, next week it becomes fall here. And that is like my favorite time of the year Seriously. ever, especially in Disney World. So you will see us freaking out so much more about just all the little details. Oh, and that ride on Big Thunder, that was, was the best thing like, yeah, ever. The most joyous I've been in the Magic Kingdom of my life. Like, I couldn't even control myself. I kept laughing, looking around, screaming. It was like, there's yeah. the fireworks. We're on the best ride, one of the best rides ever. I got my wife with me. It's the best. Good to be home, right? It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.